Oh my god, I'm not well. Look at the cut of her. This is the Christmas present. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we are not gonna be in Ireland for Christmas. Good morning! Well, hello there and welcome back to the vlog. So I am in the car on the way to Pilates, which is honestly my favorite way to start the day. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. I have to say the winter weather has really crept in. It's freezing this morning. It's often in November, early December that I start to feel a bit overwhelmed. It's definitely my busiest time with work. And although I'm always super grateful to be busy, um, I can sometimes feel like I'm chasing my tail. And do you know what? I feel like everybody feels like that. I think everybody feels a bit frazzled and a bit hectic this time of year. There are a few nice things going on over the next few days. I have a really fun event this evening that I'm going to go to. And actually, Yosef's going to come with me, which will be really nice. So we're going to the Shanley Interiors Customer Appreciation Evening, which I'm really excited about. They're an interiors brand that I've heard so much about. And my friend Jody, loads of her interiors um, are from Shanley Interiors. Her house is stunning. So if that alone that's a very good recommendation i feel like the car is where you get all the updates it's where i feel the most chatty anyway i'm gonna go to my pilates class i am gonna get myself there and i will talk to you when i'm done <laughs> oh my god i'm not well <sighs> i think my hand is shaking holding the camera that was a really tough class it was so good though if you've never done pilates or even reformer pilates before it is like it's all based on mobility and strength building and it's mostly focused on your core. I spoke before about having like bad posture. I just feel like I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, so I'm kind of on the taller side, but I just have terrible, had terrible posture. And from all the research that I did, they said things like strengthening your core and increasing mobility there will loosen everything and will make your posture better basically. Okay, I'm setting you down because my hands keep shaking. I wear these little wrap cardigans to Pilates a lot because I can, I have a long sleeve on underneath it. Um, they keep me warm and then I can whip them off um, when we're finished the warm up. Sometimes I do the whole class in these. The mobility flexibility part of the class, I absolutely adore because it's something that I naturally am good at. Like I'm kind of a flexible person. I like stretching. I just love it. Um, but then the strength part, we do like plank series and he always does them in every single class. And I am embarrassingly bad. I have no arm strength. It's honestly embarrassing. 50% of the class, I'm loving life, loving the stretches. Like they're hard, but I love them. And then 50% of the class, when we're doing the strengthy planky bits, I am suffering. So I feel like it's a really good mix that there are part, parts of the class where I feel strong and I feel really good and I'm pushing myself all the time. And then there are other parts of the class where I'm like just trying to survive. But that's what it's all about. Anyway, I need to drive home. I want to have some breakfast, jump in the shower. I think I'm going to wash and air wrap my hair today. I think it needs it. Oh my God, this is the weirdest angle. So I'm going to make some soup in my soup maker. Sorry, this is probably the... <laughs> this is probably my favorite kitchen gadget ever. It's unreal. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I basically just throw in whatever's in the fridge. I have a leek, potatoes, a carrot and a parsnip, chicken stock cube, some broccoli. I put in a few kind of seasoning-y bits. I might throw in some tomatoes as well. We'll see how we go, but I'm basically gonna chop everything and throw it in. It's so easy. I've got carrot, parsnip, potato, leek, a chopped shallot, a big clove of garlic, nutritional yeast, um, like pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, a chicken stock, even though there's no chicken in it, it just gives it like a nice taste. The really handy thing about this is you don't need to chop everything super finely because this soup maker has like a smooth blend function. You can select smooth. That's the only function that I pick um, and it creates like the smoothest, most delicious soup and it takes 19 minutes to be exact. So I'm gonna fill this with water to the fill line, which is maybe like in there, turn it on and then I'm gonna have my porridge while this is cooking and then I'll probably have this in like maybe an hour or so and honestly it is so delicious it's so good
Oh yeah, we need a Christmas wreath for the door. Oh, they're classic. Oh yeah, look at those beautiful wreaths. I am in interiors heaven. Everything is so beautiful. Look at these gorgeous cocktail glasses. Like they're stunning. They've got some gorgeous Christmas decorations. I'll show you some of the Christmas stuff, but these are so pretty. Oh my God, look. This is the upstairs area where they have all of their kind of bigger furnishings and bedrooms. So what I'm on the hunt for is a chair for my office because we're going to be doing a big project on that in the new year and look how many gorgeous chairs they have they hand make everything and the quality just looks so so good so i'm gonna have a little browse and see what would work best i love the color of these frames it's like a black velvet it's so pretty and their prices are really really good especially for their decor it's amazing joey's yeah, found herself a stunning pot that she's taking home oh hi so I'm back in the car, what's new? I feel like this is the only place that I ever talk to you. So I'm going into Chupi to see the lovely gals in there and Chupi herself and uh, I might go and pick out a ring. I am so, so excited. So if you don't know Chupi, they are the most stunning Irish fine jewelry brand. They've been around for, I'd say over 10 years now and they're just absolutely beautiful and they are ran by Chupi herself. She's an incredible woman, amazing businesswoman, and an absolute sweetheart as well. To be invited in to pick out one of their rings is just like an honest dream come true. Like it's a real pinch me moment. Um, so yeah, that's what the plan is for today. And then I have one or two bits to do in town and then I'm gonna get out of town and myself and Yosef are heading home to Galway for the weekend. I'm so excited. Uh, we're gonna be spending the weekend with both of our families. We'll go to my house first and then I think we'll go to his house. It's going to be like a mini Christmas because I'm not sure if I've mentioned this on the vlog already, but we are not going to be in Ireland for Christmas. So we are going to Australia for Christmas. So Yosef has family over there and we had intended on going to visit them pre-COVID. Um, I think like Christmas of 2020, we kind of had said that we would do a similar trip to this. So naturally everything over the past few years with COVID and Australia's borders and all that, it just wasn't feasible for us to travel there. But finally, we are in a position where um, we can easily go over there. I have never spent Christmas away from home. As I said, I'm such a home bird, especially at Christmas time. So it will be different, but it's going to be so special. And I'm just really happy that I'm doing it with Joseph. Like he's just the best. So yeah, that's all my news. So while I'm here, I'm going to show you my new sunglasses. I shared these on my stories. How cool are these? They're from Saint Laurent. I've never had a pair of Saint Laurent sunglasses and they are so nice. These are called the Solpice or Susplice style and they're actually on sale at the moment. So I'll link them below. Anyway, I'm absolutely rambling. So I will do it. Can I do this for the vlog? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's been a big lunch. <laughs> It might be my last time seeing Louise before baby arrives. And now we're gonna pop in. Did you be? Oh my God, it's so pretty. such amazing people who are going like marking their own moments yes so this is one of my favorites i have it as a thumb ring and i wear it all the time and so, so we're doing a tiny beautiful. little drop of it it's called crown of sky with so the beautiful. little diamonds going through the galaxy at night so and then gorgeous. this guy's probably one of our most loved rings it's called the north star so i have that well you know the story about signets is they no. were only passed from father to son so daughters never got the signet so even if say you were you were like you're the eldest daughter or there's yeah. other boys in the family the you've been holding ring, down the force keeping the family going it goes to your child that i love that i did that for 
women that we're kind of choosing our own segments because I have two. <laughs> I'm totally prejudiced. This one here in Chibi, everything is absolutely beautiful. So this ring is my grandmother's ring and it is such a special piece to me. I was her goddaughter. Can you see? It's so beautiful. It's kind of like an Art Deco style. We're going to get something that like sits in with this ring and kind of um, like shows it off or celebrates it. So this one here is called the Crown of Faith. Look how beautiful it is. It's got this slight curve to it, so it's perfect for nesting in with other rings. And it is so beautiful, look at the sparkle. And then this one here, I believe this one is called the Crown of Skies. And it's just so, so pretty. And it has that classic choopy kind of style. It's so ethereal. Okay, so this is what the Crown of Skies looks like with the ring. It sits really, really nicely. It's gorgeous and you can wear this band on top of the ring or under the ring and it just looks so so nice this right here is the crown of faith worn with it and it's so beautiful i actually think it matches the ring a tiny bit better it's kind of giving me a bit more of an art deco style this ring is one size too big it's a six and i would usually be a five um so it might look a tiny bit bigger but this is what it looks like it's so beautiful so after much deliberation, I think this one is the one. I love how it looks worn underneath. It's so pretty. I actually can't cope. Like, I think I'm going to cry. This is the dream <laughs> to wear both of them together. <laughs> it's so pretty, but I think the bottom one is the one that I'm going to go with. And we may have to order it from the studio just to get the right size, but... Oh my goodness, they have so much nice stuff here, it's amazing. Okay, so I just left Shoopy in Power Squirt and I'm on the way to my next appointment. They gave me flowers. They're the sweetest. I'm flat out decorating all day and look at the cut of this one. You all right there, Rim? You okay? You cozy there? Honest to God, remote and all. Look at the cut of her. <laughs> she wants me to leave her alone now. This is our Halloween box being put away until next year. These velvet pumpkins. I got these in Duns. I think these were eight and the big red one was 12. Obsessed. And then this packet of pumpkins. There's loads of these guys in different sizes. I got these on Amazon. That wreath was TK Maxx. This wreath was Duns. That was TK Maxx as well. But basically this is the autumnal pumpkin box and she is going to go away until next year. Sorry, Remy is having great crack with all the, all the decorations. This is the worst angle in the kitchen, but this is my soon to be porridge bread. I'm just gonna add in some seeds and then I'm gonna put it in the baking tin and <gasps> you can see the Christmas tree. Look how beautiful it looks, so cute. Um, I'm gonna put in some seeds and then I'm gonna bake it. And it's so nice with the soup. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description.